Hi guys, Raj here. Just doing a really quick video on uh, just trend line breaks. So just very short term trend line breaks. So the point of this video is is the fact that it's just going to be a uh, a very short introduction and a very short explanation of how to trade a trend line break and uh, effectively what to do with it. So here I've got the the copper chart here. So this is LME copper. So in London. And, uh, and I just want to show you a previous example of one that has taken place. And then I want to go on to something that's happening a little bit more recently. So the whole point with trend lines, I'm just going to start on the higher time frame. You can see I've got a monthly here, is that you want to basically see that the trend is starting to change. And how to draw them is also a really, really important fact. So what you want to be doing is that anything over two touches of a trend line is very, very important. So you see, you've got these wicks that do come out sometimes and the technical definition of a trend line is making sure that you keep all of the price action involved. So this is the technically correct trend line. But often what you do find is that the market respects trend lines that have had more touches more frequently. OK, so this is a trend line that's broken and you can see that the markets move quite heavily to the upside and you can see this looking quite nicely on the weekly chart as well. OK, so that's one example of how to draw one. Now, I'm going to show you one on the lower term time frame on the one hour time frame. And what I would just basically want to show you is that it's quite a clear uptrend on the monthly and the weekly. OK, it's moving really nicely higher. So what we need to do is you've got to find a point in which on a short term trend line that you think that something could break in the direction of the trend to keep the trend going. So here's one that uh, it's a little bit untidy. I'm just gonna clean that up a little bit. So here's one, that's it, that breaks and you see we get a subsequent move higher. Okay, decent move up, continuation trade, moves in line with the trend and keeps going. Now, obviously I don't like talking about things that keep happening in the past and are historical. So I'm gonna show you one that's happened today. And you can see just now, We've got a nice trend line break to the upside and we could get this trend continuing further, furthermore. OK, so I just wanted to do a really quick trend line short video to show you exactly how to draw the trend line, what potentially they could be used for, how to make sure that you're using them correctly in comparison to a couple of time frames. And another one we'll do is we'll quickly go and have a look at one of the major currency pairs, Euro, US dollar, and let's see if we can find anything in there. So Euro US dollar has been on quite an uptrend recently as well. And you can see on the, the weekly and the monthly charts, we've definitely we've definitely got a really, really solid uptrend. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to expand the hourly chart and I'm going to get rid of my other trend lines so I can draw some new ones to show you exactly what I'd be looking for. Now, if this uptrend is to break and maybe uh, maybe change direction, we could be looking at something like this now you can see here we've got one touch two touch and three touch here and then a subsequent break and a move lower okay so this is a, an example of a, of a trend line on a lower time frame the reason why i don't give these ones too much potential is because on the higher time frames we're still in a really strong uptrend what this is one is telling you is really that we could be potentially reversing it's not really a confirmed reversal but it's a nice trend line nevertheless scrolling back through the chart now if i have a look elsewhere i'm going to try and show you one that's uh, that has moved in the in the direction of the trend and there seems to be a really nice one here. Don't worry, you get better at spotting these as time goes on. And you can see here, we've got one touch, two touch, three touch here, and then a subsequent breakthrough, and then the market moves for an uptrend, okay? So it's not easy to find them if you're not used to doing technical analysis, but I just wanted to just show you really quickly how it can be done. So that's uh, really my short lesson on trend lines. Hope you picked up something good from it, and uh, I'll be doing a few more of these shorts, so keep an eye on our YouTube page.